He's got three receivers and a tight end. That's Manhurst at the top of the screen. Play action rolling out now. With time, what's the big oh, shot? He's move. got Zay Jones. He's Boom. got it. St. Jones big makes the shot. catch across midfield, and the Jaguars come out with an exclamation point on their first play. 32 yards, Bucky. You think about the importance of being able to nullify these guys on the edges. Here's the handoff to ETN, and look Ooh. at it go. Oh, the speed. tackle, showing the explosiveness on that 13-yard run. This rebuilt offensive line is a big story we'll talk about tonight. They're doing a good job. Lawrence standing in the pocket, turns and delivers Ooh, the pass. Nice caught in traffic. And it's a nine-yard pickup to about the nine-yard line. This has, well, to, be this has to be. Just, the head coach told us yesterday they still have time on the kitchen goal. Yeah, He's not panicking be. right now. And it was money from 23 yards away. Elliot Fry, Ray Robertson, Harris, and Devon Hamilton have done a little of that tonight. Here's Brown on his second carry. Oh, He's oh, he loses the ball. It's recovered by Shaquille Griffin. And the Jaguars are in business at the Cleveland 21. Third and eight. Lawrence deep in the pocket. Shuffles, turns it now, lets one go for Zay Jones. And it is incomplete. Zay Jones went over backwards. He got one hand up on it, but couldn't quite pull it in. Ryan Santoso, and he'll boot this one from 38 yards away. And the ball is up on the way, and the big leg of Santoso drills it. The five-time Pro Bowler with Washington. And here's the handoff, and that one was broken up almost instantaneously. And it is a loss of six yards, almost seven yards. Ingram, the tight end, slides to the top of the screen. Four receivers total. Deep drop, there's a quick throw. He's got a wide nice. open Laquan Treadwell across midfield, and he turns it up to near the 46-yard line. It's a pickup of 19 yards. Here's a toss. Travis and he reverses field and he tries to break a tackle. Manages to get free. Doesn't quite get back to the line of scrimmage before he is popped. Jaguars overcome a 12 yard deficit. Play oh, action nice. rolling Very out. Big. Lawrence turns and slings. He's got oh, Zay nice. Jones. Oh, and Jones nice. is out of bounds at the 17 yard line with another Jacksonville first down. Here's play action, and he's oh, got Evan Ingram all by himself. Look he's got it at the five, and he turns it up the field. Look at Touchdown, that. Jacksonville. How about that? And he, about I think he could have got it to him about a half a second earlier. He was so wide open. Josh Dobbs, you might remember him from his short stint at Jacksonville back in 2019, has replaced Deshaun Watson. And here's the toss sweep, and the Jaguars cover it up beautifully. Oh, uh, Mooma. Chad Mooma, the rookie from Wyoming. Able to play. Do you play him? Week two, even though you're not going to have him available week one, I just know the offense has to move better. Pressure for forcing Dobbs out. Throws back to the middle of the field where he finds a target across the 42-yard line. It's going to be a problem because now you can run all those games with he and Trayvon Walker off the edges. A little bit of room in the middle. The back ah. gets free and trying to get outside. There's room to run. Chris Claybrooks is the only one that can stop him. And he shoves him out of bounds. That's Jerome Ford who found room in the middle of the defense and then took it outside all the way to the 17-yard line. There's second and goal, and Ford is hit right. in the backfield. I mean, there was Dewan Smoot. He got him first, and then it was a teal wave that swept over him to set up third and goal. Here's third down and goal for Josh Dobbs near the four-yard line. The handoff to Ford, and he slides uh. through and into the end zone for a Cleveland touchdown. Um, but this is a big moment. It reminds me of a little bit back early days with the Jaguars. And here's the handoff to Snoop Connor, who is buried in the backfield by the blitzing safety, DeAnthony Bell. Second and nine for Beathard, who has Connor to his left in the shotgun. Steps up and is not going to escape the arms of a Browns defender, and he goes down at the 41-yard line. I know Press Taylor's up in the booth. And here's Beathard throwing an out route, and oh, it is caught. Nice. nice catch. Tim Jones with a first down to the 35-yard line. Turns and fires, and this one is taken away from Tim Jones. Oh, wow. And Beathard's the only one that can save the pick six. And they're not going to do it. Martin Emerson Jr. stepped and took the ball away from Tim Jones and took it all the way back for a touchdown. Turnover, and now you face the prospect of going down, trailing the half. Uh, he's just muscling. He just took it away from him. 
Emerson, their third round draft choice. Big, lanky guy, long arms, broad shoulders, just muscled his way. He is joined by Marvin Hall at the bottom. Luton looking short, now steps, but can't quite escape the pressure. And down he goes. Isaiah Thomas is the man who pulled him down. Uh, there's a lot of players who flew under the radar and can make an impact here in the preseason. Jaguars' run defense has been really strong tonight. They did get the 41-yarder on this team. During <laughs> the lockdown. <laughs> Here's the handoff to Ford looking for room, and he tries to bounce it outside. There's a seam. He's on the run again. Daniel Thomas gets him down inside the 20. Well, we're coming back here October 21st. 31-yard field goal is up and good. It's 17-13. Tell me about your podcast real quick. But there's still two more preseason games and a couple of weeks of training camp for this battle. Luton under pressure goes down. He'll lose a few yards trying to escape the pocket. And the Jaguars will go three and out. Chris Odom. What do you what do you think you fit in it? Uh, I love the offense. I feel like we have playmakers all over the place. We've seen a couple of third downs who made big plays. And uh, I feel like... I feel like uh, Doug puts his play playmakers in the right place to make plays, and you've seen that tonight. All the explosive plays are coming from the Brown side here in the second half as Jerome Ford takes the handoff, and he goes nowhere. He was caught by Adam Gatsas. He's been away from the game for a year. You know he wanted to be, have an opportunity to come back and show people what he could do. Dobbs puts the ball right on the spot where his receiver could reach for it at the 15-yard line, and that's a nice pass to Dalen Baldwin. That's Buster Brown, seventh round choice from Arkansas. First team all SEC, led that lead with five interceptions. Dobbs just runs away oh, wow. and threw the ball up at the last minute. And Ford pulled it in for the touchdown. Verge of making it 24 straight. Wow, that's, that's unbelievable. It seemed like he was past the line of scrimmage. I mean, just a big bear of a man in there who throws people around. Here's Luton on fourth and short and he finds the tight end who lost oh, the ball uh, he lost the football and Cleveland recovers Luke Farrell lost the football and DeAnthony Bell pounced on it Jaguars crowding the line of scrimmage here's the handoff to Kelly again Jaguars in good tackle his face and a nice job by Monteric Brown the seventh round choice from Arkansas corners pressed in coverage throws it into shotgun Low snap, gets it, turns and throws, and this one is caught. He pulled it in. Brown tried to go up and over the top, but Dalen Baldwin was able to get his hands on it. First and 10 near the 38-yard line. Rosen is rolling out. Turns and puts the ball low, oh, where his good. tight end goes down to grab it at the 27-yard line. And it's another first down for Cleveland. Four. Oh, Looking down. to change direction. And the Jaguars have to fight to get through two offensive linemen. To stuff him back near the 30-yard line for a four-yard loss. Rosen, empty backfield, slings it. It's caught by Ford. Ford oh, breaks the tackle. Oh, and he's going to get the first down with extra effort. Ball came he out. lost the ball. ball came out. The Jaguars say they've recovered it. The officials say they've recovered it. So a break. And the Jaguars' defense holds. From the 43, they've got a cross, as you can see, the 48. Luton takes the waist high delivery. Oh, Pressure man. coming, turns and fires. He's got Tim Jones oh, for the first down, and Jones is out of bounds near the 45-yard line in Cleveland territory. Jaguars trail by 9. Pardon me, by 11. 24 to 13. Luton holding oh, the ball too long. Man. Should have got go. rid of it. Got to get rid of it. We're going to take the check down. Take the check down right away. It's Javante Moffitt. Jaguars trying to end a 24 unanswered point streak by the Browns. Luton holds the ball, rolls out to his right. A flag is thrown. He turns and slings the ball, oh, and it's intercepted no. in the end zone. And a touchback. They harassed Deshaun Watson a little bit, but not enough to say that they got a jack in the beat. Prince goes up the sideline to the 24-yard line. And it's a first down. Jake Luton's got a move it now. First and ten. Luke patient. Too patient. Hit the sack at the 30-yard line. Jaguars host the Pittsburgh Steelers next Saturday evening here, and that'll obviously be a challenge.